Well, this article from Detroit Free Press has been making the rounds because of the title of it. I don't know how I many people actually read the article. Uh, it's by Carlos Monreyes. I think that's his name from Detroit Free Press, known as a Detroit Lions hater by a lot of fans. That's what I hear uh, going through the threads around social media, around the internet. He titled, as you see the thumbnail, he titled, Lions win meaningless game as Kenny Galladay turns into Calvin Johnson. And, you know, it wasn't meaningless. No, it wasn't. It stopped the three-game skid, okay? Um, not only did it stop the three-game skid, uh, the uh, Detroit um, got a win. Matthew Stafford got a win over a winning organization, short-handed, all right? And it showed when they are limited, when, when the offense is limited to certain skill positions, they have to utilize them. They had to utilize Kerryon Johnson because LeBaire Blunt was like seven carries for like a yard. Theoretic ain't been effective all year. Uh, never been a big fan of his after after about a year or two ago. Well, I haven't been a big fan of his of recent. Let me say that. Um, they had to use Kenny Galladay. You know, he did turn into some Calvin Johnson type of ish. All right. That's all facts. But his reasoning, and I don't know how many people looked at the reason. They just read the title. And sometimes the title was to drive in traffic on YouTube. That's the point of YouTube for most YouTubers. And that's the point of, you know, uh, you know, marketing yourself on social media and the Internet now. Is the clickbait, you know what I'm saying? Clickbait in the title. Um, I don't really utilize it much on either one of my channels. You want to go follow my other channel, Goodfella Sports TV. Salute everybody that follow me on both platforms, all right? But um, that's how you do it. And he says meaningless win. And when he means by meaningless, in his opinion, um, he means meaningless that they 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 fucked up the draft position. Excuse my French, but that's what they did. He wants the Lions to get, Lions to get highest possible in the draft. Um, to get a blue chip prospect or possibly, you know, in my opinion, this is my opinion here, move down and get more assets. All right. And like I said before, I wouldn't be a part if they got the best quarterback available. No knock on Matthew Stafford. I think it should be some Aaron Rodgers type of thing here, build him up or Jimmy Garoppolo type of thing here, or uh, Jacoby Brissett, build him up and trade him for assets. If, you know, Stafford's still playing at a high level, Stafford was good today, but if, if would you consider it a meaningless, a meaningless victory? Um, if the Lions don't make the playoffs, no. Uh, I think we needed a victory over a good football team in Carolina. They had an extended, uh, extended break. They played Thursday, got beat, blew out by the Steelers. They were fairly healthy. We were not fairly healthy. Miss Roberts, we missed Kenny Galladay. No Golden Tate. And Golden Tate is in Philly losing, still losing ball games. All right. Um, so I don't, I don't see any victory being being meaningless. All right, at all, unless it's a preseason game. And that's the only way I can count that being meaningless. But really, you can't even finesse that to be meaningless because some young guys got some really, really good reps and good experience. It's hard to win in the NFL. And calling any win in professional sports meaningless, I really don't. You know, this just sounds like a big pile of haterade, all right? And that's what it is. And he could reason all he wants to, and I read the article, you know? And basically, he also said, first thing he said, well, this, this kind of win kind of saves Patricia and Bob Quinn's job. Look here, Patricia and Bob Quinn ain't going nowhere. Or at least Bob Quinn ain't going nowhere. Unless they went 0-16. And we and that boat is sailed weeks ago. All right? This this single win ain't going to save their job. The Fords ain't firing them. The Fords are the most loyal people in, in NFL history. You know? You know, they didn't even want to get rid of Matt Millen after he went 0-16. But the public pressure made them get rid of Matt Millen. You know? They didn't want to let Bill Parcells come run the organization. They trusted Matt Millen. He finessed Mr. Ford. So they ain't going nowhere. No matter how many losses they is, how many wins it is, whatever it may be. Wins are too far in between in the city right now, between the Red Wings, the Pistons, and, and, and the Lions. We're taking victories any way we can get them. In the National Football League, Carlos is probably the guy who never tr strapped them up and put the shoulder pads on. Anytime you go out there and get blood, sweat, and tears, you exchange them blows with other grown men at any level. You know, kids, you know, uh, teenagers, you know, young adults in the NCAA football. It ain't, it ain't never meaningless. You know, it ain't never mean it's blood, sweat, tears out there. And, and the Lions did what they had to do over a good football team. Who knows? This might get the momentum rolling. But it did show when you limit, you know, Jim Bob Cooter to the weapons he got to have, he got to find ways to give him the ball. And maybe the Lions had too many weapons. And maybe they were trying to satisfy everybody out there. But Kenny Galladay is exceptional. We know it. Um, well, Jim, Jim Bob Cooter still got to go. <laughs> Period. Unless they rip off a Super Bowl type of run. And he just turns into uh, Norv Turner as a play caller, you know what I'm saying, or or some Josh McDaniels or some some Sean McVay type stuff, which ain't gonna happen. Then you know it is what it is. You know we know the Lions are 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 not gonna tank. We know that. 
they still in a race. The the Vikings and Bears about to play, so no, they still got a chance. I don't believe they're gonna make the playoffs. I said that weeks ago. I said it weeks ago. But this is about the battle between the old media and and the Lions. You know, the Lions have tried to get Mike Valenti job. They've been beefing with the Detroit media, and at the end of the day, Lions can't beef with no media. They've been sorry since 1957. You think they should want to mend the relationship between Detroit sports and the Lions and the, and the meet old media. But they don't want to mend it. The Lions don't want to admit they wrong. The media do be hitting a lot of things on the head about what's wrong with the Lions and the Fords or what's wrong with the Lions. And the Fords want to get upset. But how are you going to get upset when you know you're the problem? Ever since you took over the Lions, they've been sorry. So I can't really 100% fought the old media. But when you reach, you try, to, uh, you try to turn a great victory into some BS and you try to, dis, you know, you know, discourage the fans and try to sway the public to hate the Lions. Man, the Lions been sorry for what, a hundred years? Um, something like whatever it been, 40, 60 years, whatever it been, and, and the fans ain't turned on that. It's nothing you can do with the media. The media, you just going to become the public enemy number one. So, hey, it is what it is, man. Join the new media movement, man. All the young Detroit YouTubers out there trying to spit game and kick facts about the Lions. Support us before you go support the free press of Detroit News. Love M Live, but support us, man, and get your Lions news here. Motor City Sports Talk. Definitely appreciate it. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We'll make a donation. That link's in the description. Check us out. Email is there as well. We go.